Hello students I Professor Sundeep Naik would like to welcome you all to this session on Charcutier. Today we will learn about 1. Definition and Terms 2. Production, Classification and Processing of Forcemeat and Sausages 3. Types and Uses of Marinades, Cures and Brines 4. Ham, Bacon and Gammon Difference between them their processing and their uses. Introduction Charcutier is the art and science of making raw and cooked preparation of meat with special emphasis on pork. It is derived from the word chair and cuit, it literally means cooked meat. The preparation includes many forms of processed meat including ham, sausages, cold cut, bacon, gammon, Force meat, etc. The charcuterie goes back several hundreds of years ago to 1500 BC, during the height of Roman Empire. Pork sausages became very popular, flavored with pine nuts, black pepper, and bay leaf. Charcuterie has come a long way since those times. No longer it is limited to just pork product, it is now the most versatile and adoptable cooking product with nothing rigid or complications. Only with the fundamentals one can invent his own specialties using ingredients available. Definitions and the terms. 1. Force meat, it comes from French word farce which means stuffing. It is a ground seasoned mixture of meat, game, poultry, fish, or vegetables used for stuffing. 2. Panada, a thick paste of flour and butter with a little liquid used to bind together the ingredient. In short, it is thickened white sauce. 3. Curing salt. It is a mixture of common salt and sodium nitrate used for seasoning and as a preservative. 4. Pâté. It is a French word for paste. The term pâté means force meat baked in a crust, usually in a rectangular or oval loaf mold. 5. Terrine. A baked savory meat or game force meat filled usually in bacon ham or fat back lined earth and mold cooked on the water bath in the oven. 6. Galantine. A traditional galantine is a deboned chicken, wrapped in its own skin along with ground meat and other garnish ingredients and rolled into cylindrical shape, then poached in stock or roasted, served cold, coated in aspic jelly. 7. Mousse. Mousse can be defined as a mixture of fully cooked meat, poultry, fish, and shellfish or vegetable that is puree or minced and combined with becamel or other appropriate sauce, bound with gelatin or fat and then lightened with whipped cream or beaten egg white and sometimes flavored with wine. 8. Mouse line. Mousseline is a type of fluffy consistency similar to mousse is often made out of a combination of uncooked meat particularly chicken or fish, pureed and bound with egg white and sometimes cream, they are said by cooking. 9. Canals. Seasoned mousseline style force meat of fish, game or poultry shaped into baseball shape with the help to two spoons then poached or fried. Served as accompaniment or garnish. 10. Proscudo. It is an Italian dry cured ham that is usually thinly sliced and served uncooked. It is also known as pharma ham. Force meat. The term force meat or farce is a ground seasoned mixture of meat, game, Poultry, fish or vegetable prepared as a dish on its own used to stuff other numerous items as eggs, meat, fish and poultry, pastry shells or perhaps even pasta. Composition of force meat 1. The meat, this primary ingredient meat consists of three elements. Dominant meat, it normally accounts for 40% of the meat components which could include veal, game, poultry, rabbit, duck, or even fish. This provides the element's flavor and name to the dish. Example. Chicken liver as in chicken liver pate. Lean pork. It contributes to the bulk as well as flavor. This normally amount for 30% of meat components. Pork fat. It contributes to the bulk as well as flavors. This normally account for 30% of meat component. 2. Binding agent. Binding agents are added to lighten the force meat and to give it a finer texture. It should not exceed 20% of the force meat weight. Binding could consist of e.g. G yolk or egg white, fresh bread soaked in milk, cream or stock, 
panada that is thick and becamel sauce. Seasoning, flavoring and garnish. Salt is an important part of force meat, it helps to bring out natural flavor of other elements. Approx 20 grams of salt per kilo of farce is rough guideline to follow. Seasoning should not be extravagant to cover up the inferior quality ingredients. One common mistake done is to use excessive message for this purpose. The garnish can be in relation to the kind of force meat, like a central garnish can be lamb fillet in lamb farce, strips of ham and pork farce, etc. It provides a visual focal point when the farce is sliced. Garnish could also be interspersed throughout the farce like pistachio crushed peppercorn, diced truffle, capers, gherkins, olives, mushroom, etc. 3. Additives. They are mixed with a purpose to enhance the color, increase shelf life, contribute to the taste, flavor and prevent fat from getting rancid. Example. Nitrite and nitrates of sodium and potassium, message, mag, salt better. Basic guidelines for preparation of force meat. 1. Chilling. The meat being used to make farce and the equipment like buffalo chopper and food processor must be absolutely chilled before use. This ensures quality grinding of farce to a correct texture product. A sharp cutting blade is also essential. 2. Fabrication. The meat should be trimmed for fat gristle and silver skin. The rind is removed from fat back. The meat and fat is cut into small cubes or strips. 3. Grinding. The process of grinding involves three stages. Firstly, the ingredients are coarsely ground through a medium hold plate. Secondly, it is then passed through a small hold plate. Finally, if the farce is to be ground to a fine textured paste it can be emulsified in a food processor. A small amount of crushed ice can be added during emulsifying stage, to maintain the temperature of farce during grinding. 4. Sieving the farce is passed through a sieve to remove any trace of gristle or skin that might remain during grinding. Remember, that all the above stages may not be required for coarse farce. Only first two stages are enough. Classification or types of force meat. There are five primary types of force meats. 1. Champagne or country style. It is an ancient style. Force meat is generally made out of pork meat which is heavily seasoned with onion, garlic, pepper, juniper berries and bay leaf. The force meat is dense and coarse textured. Traditionally it was chopped with two knife or mezzaluna giving the coarse texture. Uses, pate, terrines, galantines, and sausages. 2. Straight method. It is more refined having a finer less dense texture due to improvement in culinary preparation and equipment. Any type of dominant meat can be used like veal, duck, rabbit and pork. Ideally with pork fat, shallots, wine, brandy, and auspices. 3. Grading style. It is the name given to the force meat that is obtained from pre-cooked meats. In some cases the meat is only lightly seared and browned. While in other cases, the meat may be completely cooked before grinding or pureeing. All types of meat can be used except poultry and fish. It is same as straight method, but a unique nutty flavor is developed because of browning of meat before grinding. 4. Muslin. The most distinctive characteristic of this method is the type of fat that is used in its preparation. They are made by using lean white or light meat like fish, chicken, rabbit, shallots white pepper and white wine. Cream is used to get extremely light, ultra-fine, consistency and smooth textured product. 5 4 3 Emulsion Force Meat It is a commercial mixture and the name derived from the ratio of components. 5 part of meat, 4 part of fat and 3 part of ice. It can be made from almost all kinds of meat except fish. It has a smooth paste texture. Seasoning and flavoring varies from manufacturers to manufacturers. Non-fat milk powder is used as binder. Sausages. Sausages can be defined as any meat that has been diced, ground, chopped, emulsified or reduced to minute particles by mechanical means, blended with non-meat ingredient and seasoned to taste and filled in a casing. 
Sausages is one of the oldest form of charcuterie and is made almost all over the world in some form or the other. Many sausage recipes and concepts have brought fame to the cities and their people. Example, Weiner from Vienna, Austria. Bologna from Bologna, Italy. These are over 1,200 varieties of sausages worldwide. Production of sausages. Sausages consists mixture of meat ingredients and non-meat ingredients which are holded in a casing. Proper combination of these three components is important for the quality of the finished product. Meat ingredient, variety of meat types are used in making of sausages. Lean meat, lean meat makes largest proportion of sausages ingredients which provides a dominant character to the finished product. It determines the flavor, color, texture and appearance of the sausages. Pork is the largest single spices of animal processed for sausages and cured or smoked products. Bull meat, beef, turkey, veal, lamb, mutton and poultry are also used depending on the formulation. Fatty meats, these are the sources of fat for sausages. Jowl fat that is fat on the neck and throat is most commonly used type in commercial production of charcuterie items. Fat adds flavor, texture mouthfeel and appearance to sausages. The fat content should not exceed 30%. Variety meat. Variety meat is referred to offals like heart, kidney, liver, tongue etc. These meat have a low binding power hence need a binder if used in higher amount. Non-meat ingredient. Non-meat ingredient are food additives which can legally be added to the sausages. They enhance flavor, color, slow or prevents bacterial growth and act as a preservative. There are six type of additives. Water, water is usually added during the blending stage to improve mixing and help to extract proteins from the meat. Curing agents. Curing agent commonly used are dot sodium nitrate and sodium nitrite. Curing agents inhabit growth of Clostridium bolchelinum which is an anaerobic bacteria that causes death. Curing agents also improve shelf life. Curing accelerators. Curing accelerators such as ascorbic acid, citric acid etc. are used to speed up the curing process. Sensory enhancers. Variety of item are used to enhance the sensory factors like flavor smell color and feel. Salt. It is used to enhance and bring out the flavor and protein extraction from the meat. Sweeteners. Sweeteners are used in form of nutritive or non-nutritive sweeteners in all sausages. Non-nutritive sweeteners, saccharin and sorbitol used in cooked and cured sausages. Nutritive sweeteners, cane, beet or corn sugar are used in all. Flavoring, flavorings for sausages include spices and spice extract. Whichever type is used it should be as fresh as possible to gain maximum flavoring. Coloring, coloring used for sausages include both natural and artificial colors like certified color are used in commercial scale. Smoke. Smoke contributes to the taste and flavors of the product. It can be imparted by liquid smoke or natural smoke. Use of too much liquid smoke will tend to make the product bitter. Natural smoke is always recommended. Flavor enhancers. Flavor enhancers are product which bring out the flavor of other ingredients yet have no real flavor of its own. Example. Monosodium glutamate. Message. Other. Bacterial cultures. Enzymes, phosphates and acidulants serve variety of purpose in sausage making like flavor, softening of tissue, juice retention etc. Stability enhancers. Stability enhancers are used in sausages making to protect the flavor of the product. To show down mold growth and to extend and bind the product. Extenders and binders. There are three classes of extenders and binders. Animal based, gelatin stock and non-fat dry milk. Fermented based, microorganism, cereal based, flour, oat, wheat, barley, corn. The purpose of these is to bind the sausage give stable form of emulsion and also extend the volume. 1209, 2307, Sand Deep Nake. Once the force meat is prepared, it is ready for filling into the casing. It may be done manually or sausage filler may be used. Sausage filler is a machine which has a nozzle with changeable diameter. The rolled up casing is fitted on to the nozzle and the machine started. The casing then unrolled as it fills up. 
A stapling machine then separates the portioned links and seals the ends. Casing Casing are of vital importance in sausage making. The primary function of casing is to hold the prepared meat mixture. It also has a major effect on the mouthfeel and appearance of the sausages. There are six types of casing. Natural casing. These are made from the intestine of animals such as hops, pigs, wild boars, cattle and sheep. The intestine is a very long organ and it is ideal for a casing of sausage. The intestine are flushed clean especially from the inside and soaked in the solution of chemophor for a period of 2 hour at 10 degrees Celsius. Blood vessels and fat inside of casing is removed during cleaning. Advantage of natural casing. A. They are semi-porous and permit deeper smoke penetration. B. They absorb flavor and release fat better. C. Holds their shape and don't burst while cooking. D. They are edible. E. They bear natural color and better appearance. Almost all casing are salted before they are packed. The ideal storage temperature is 40-45 degree Fahrenheit. Collagen casing They are edible and are not synthetic casing. They are made from hides of cattle. Collagen is obtained from the corium layer that is just under the skin of animal. The fat flesh and hair side. It is split into two layers the hair side is used in leather industry. The flesh side corium is used in collagen casing. The material is first ground and then swelled in an acidic medium. It is then sieved, filtered and finally molding into casing. Advantage of this casing is it is manufactured as per sizes required and are stronger. Ideally they are used for smoked sausages. Peelable casing. This type of casing is not edible, made of synthetic material, it is used extensively in commercial manufacture of frankfurters. Force meat is stuffed into the casing cooked or smoked. The casing is peeled of the prepared sausages and sold. Fibrous cellulose casing. This type of casing is non-edible. These casing are designed for strength, fiber run through the length of casing to increase the strength and durability while an inner layer of protein is applied causing it to shrink as the meat dries. This casing is used mainly for dry or semi-dry sausages and is peeled off before slicing the sausages. Plastic casing Plastic casing are popular in the meals processing industry. They are cheaper, stronger and uniform in size. They need to be removed before item is served. Type of sausages Fresh sausage Fresh sausages are made from meat which have not been cured and smoked. The meat is ground, chopped, diced, etc. and seasoned. It is used in bulk for more stuffed and casing. This is a raw product that must be fully cooked before eating. Example, country style pork sausages. Cooked sausages. Cooked sausages are made from uncured meat. The meats are ground, seasoned and stuffed into casing. The sausages is then cooked normally by poaching. These sausages are not smoked. Example, liver sausages and black pudding. Cooked smoked sausages. This type of sausages is made from cured meats. The meat is ground, seasoned and stuffed into casing. The sausages is then smoked and fully cooked. These sausages do not need further cooking, but some are reheated before serving. Example, bologna, salami, frankfurt. Uncooked smoked sausages. Uncooked smoked sausages is made from cured or uncured meat. The meat is ground, seasoned and stuffed into casing. The sausage is smoked but not cooked this means it has to be fully cooked before being eaten. X. Kielbasa Dry or semi-dry sausages. These sausages are made from cured meat which is grounded, seasoned and stuffed into casing. This sausage may or may not be smoked before drying. They are air dried under controlled conditions of time, temperature and humidity. The sausages are fermented. Dry sausages need no further cooking. Example, pepperoni, salami, servalot. Cures. Curing is a process of surrounding meat, fish or poultry with salt. It is a method of preservation done by dehydration. The salt used contains curing agent hence called as curing salt type of cures dry cures these are directly applied to the food dry curing is a prolonged process as the cures need to penetrate into the food 
the thickness and the weight of food needs to be considered. When ready excess cure is rinsed off. Wet cures. In wet cures curing salts are added to a brine solution and food is immersed in it. The process is much shorter due to osmosis, the penetration is much faster than dry cures. Composition, common salt is the most important part of the composition that is 94%. While curing salts make that is 6% of the composition that includes. 1. Nitrates of sodium and potassium. 2. Salt better. 3. Sugar. 4. BHT and BHA, antioxidants. 5. Sodium erythorbate. 6. Message. 7. Spices and herbs. Uses of cures. 1. Preservation of meat. 2. Reacts with pigment of meat and gives color. 3. Adds flavor and taste to the meat. 4. Antioxidant retards the rancidity of fat present in the meat. 5. Enhancing flavor by message. Brines. Brines are salt solution used for curing and preservation of the meat, fish, or vegetable. A wet cure can also be called as brine. Type of brines. 1. Raw brines. Salt pepper is dissolved in little water which is mixed with salt, water mixture and brown sugar. Left for 24 hours and then meat to be brined is added. Formula for brines is 10 liter water plus 25 grams salt pepper plus 2 and 1 half kilograms salt plus 100 grams brown sugar. 2. Cooked brine. The above mixture is boiled and strained left overnight before the meats are added. 3. Spice brine. Brine is spiced with peppercorn, jennifer berries, thyme, carrot, onion, bay leaf. Can be raw or cooked. 3 kg meat or below needs to be brined for 4 to 6 days. 3 to 6 kg meat needs to be brined for 6 to 8 days. Processing of brining. 1. Steeping. The food item is immersed in the brine solution for a period of time and turned over to ensure even brining. 2. Injection. The brine is directly injected into muscle fiber of the meat with a brine pump, reducing time for curing or salting. 3. Spray brining. The brine solution is spread by injection at several points in the muscle at the same time. This is the fastest method. Storage of brine. Brine should be stored in non corrosive containers made from steel or glass. Aluminium and plastic should be avoided. Never use bare hands and put pre washed meats into the brine. A tap is fixed at the base of the container for easy draining. Marinade. Marinade is a seasoned liquid with various aromatics in which meat, poultry, game and even vegetables are steeped or soaked. Marinades are made up of the following components. 1. Oil, helps to prevent moisture loss. Example. Olive oil, peanut, salad or plain refined oil. 2. Acid, citrus fruit, vinegar, lemon juice, yogurt, wine. 3. Aromatics, herbs spices and proprietary sauces 4 seasonings common salt sea salt black salt etc functions of marinades 1 add flavor and taste to the food 2 to act as tenderizer and breaking down connective tissue 3 to act as a preservative types of marinades 1 cooked marinade 2 uncooked marinade 3 Instant marinade. In the first two marinades, ingredients used are carrots, shallots, peppercorns, cloves, parsley stalk, thyme, rosemary, bay leaf, water, white wine, vinegar, and oil. For cooked marinade, above ingredients except oil is simmered for an hour, cooled mixed with oil and used. Whereas for uncooked marinade, they are just mixed raw and used. Instant marinade can be simple like oil. Garlic, thyme, black peppercorn mixed and used as commercial marinades. Storage, cooked marinades need to be refrigerated and has a good shelf life. Ham. Ham is always the hind leg or side of the pork, as such removed beforehand preserved by curing or pickling in brine then dried and smoked. 
Ham comes from Old English word ham which means hollow or bend of the knee. Ham is made from hind leg of pork. Ham is sold cooked or dry cured. It is ready for eating. Ham is usually served cold. Ham can be cooked by boiling, baking, braising, grilling and shallow fried. Culinary uses of ham. I. Pre-cooked boneless ham is available vacuum packed or tinned and are used extensively in the catering industry for preparation of sandwiches, salad and garnishes. 2. Hams eaten raw are cut in very fine slices served with curls of unsalted butter fresh figs or melon. 3. Slice of ham are grilled and served for continental breakfast. 4. Chopped ham goes well with cheese for omelets. V. Ham bones goes for making of brown stock imparts good flavors. Vi. In Italy, the famous cabanara sauce is often substituted with ham. Pastas are also cooked with ham. Bacon. Bacon is obtained from the sides and back of baconer. Baconer is a pig reared and specially fed to yield bacon. Bacon is acquired by curing or curing and smoking. Curing is done with an intention of removing moisture and prevent growth of microorganism is preventing. They can be dry or wet cured. After curing bacon is matured under cool condition for two weeks to improve eating quality and flavor. Culinary uses of bacon. The most popular use of bacon is in the form of rashers often fried served with eggs associated with English breakfast. Bacon pudding is a common dish in many parts of Britain most regional variety are suet trolls with onion and sage. It is used to flavoring sauces. Famous carbonara sauce is authentically flavored with bacon. Bacon bites are used for stuffing omelets. Green bacon make tasty dishes by grilling frying or boiling. Gammon. The word gammon comes from the French word gambe, which means hind leg. Gammon is the cut of meat from the baconer hind leg which is cured in the same way as bacon. The main difference between gammon and ham is that gammon is sold green or raw and needs to be cooked, whilst ham is sold cooked and ready for eating. Therefore it is true that a gammon is a ham that has not yet been cooked. If a gammon is prepared and cooked it can be called a ham, and is generally sold as a gammon ham. Gammons are often wet cured in a brine mixture, although they may be dry cured in a salt-based mixture. Traditionally gammon joints are cured over a period of 21-28 days. They are often been cured using additional ingredients such as muscovado sugar, juniper berries, beer and treacle. After the curing process the gammon may be smoked. This may be done with liquid smoke or smoked over wood chippings. Different woods will give subtle differences in flavor. Culinary Uses of Gammon 1. Boiling, gammon is soaked in cold water for at last 24 hours, then placed in jambonier covered with fresh water and brought to boil, gently simmered for 20 to 25 minutes per one half kilogram served in its own cooking liquor. 2. Veal gammon pie, alternate layers of veal slices and gammon slices sprinkled with onion parsley and chopped egg between each layer in a pie dish lined with bacon rashers. Served cold coated with chodfroid sauce. 3. Gammon Chodfroid, for cold buffet 4. Dot braising, gammon is soaked in cold water, 24 hours, trimmed placed on the bed of root vegetable stud with cloves, covered with demi glaze and cooking liquid and braised till done. 5. Dot baking, gammon is folded in large sheet of short or puff pastry, egg wash and baked in slow oven for longer time. 6. Dot grilling, gammon is cut in thick slices, steaks. Grilled garnished with peaches halves pineapple, fried eggs etc. 7. Boiled gammon, thinly sliced and served with salad and mustard and pickle. Processing of ham bacon and gammon. The processing of ham, bacon, and gammon goes in the same way only differences for making of ham the hind leg of pork is used. For processing of bacon. Side or back of baconer is used and for processing of gammon hind leg baconer is used. The first step is fabrication and this the meat is trimmed partially or fully deboned and excess fat is removed. Second step is curing. This is done in four ways. First is brine pumping. In this type of curing brine is injected by syringe. 
Second type is spray pumping in this method multiple needles are injected delivering brine to every part of the meat. Third one is brining. In this the meat is totally immersed in the brine. Fourth one is dry curing. In this type curing salt mixture is rubbed thoroughly on the meat and kept for 3-4 days usually in a controlled temperature of 7 degrees Celsius. The next stage is refreshing. This step is done to reduce the saltiness of brine solution and as the meat is soaked for approximately 12 hours in fresh water. The next step is hanging. The cured meat is hanged in a temperature of 7 degrees Celsius in a control room for the pellicide formation in which the sediment appears on the surface of the meat and the water dries up totally. After this stage meat is called as green bacon or green gammon or green ham. The last stage where only ham and bacon is processed further is called as smoking. Smoking is done to impart flavor color and preservation. It is done for approximately 6 to 8 hours depending on the quality and the quantity of the meat. There are two types of smoking. Hot smoke that is being done if the meat has to be made ready to eat second one is cold smoking that is done for the meat that need to be cooked before eating. Smoking is done by burning and creating smoke of wooden chips of hickory wood, maple wood, cedar wood or oak wood. Once the product comes out of the smoking chamber it is called as ham or bacon. Now we will study the difference between ham, bacon and gammon. 1. Ham comes from Old English word ham which means hollow or bend of the knee. Bacon comes from French word baca means back. Gammon comes from the French word gamb, which means hind leg. 2. Ham is made from hind leg of pork. Bacon is made from side or back of baconer. Gammon is made from hind leg of baconer. 3. Ham is sold cooked or dry cured. Bacon is cured and possibly smoked. Gammon will be sold raw. 4. It is ready for eating. It needs to be cooked. It needs to be cooked. 5. Ham is usually served cold. Bacon is served warm or hot. Gammon is served hot. 6. Example of ham, prosciutto, jambon de paris etc. Example of bacon, pancetta, streaky bacon. Canada bacon. Example of gammon, Danish gammon, Wiltshire gammon. Thank you. And wish you all the best.